Yeah, sometimes people stare for no reason. It's yeah, they just stare, and others stare because they want to. They want to make you feel uncomfortable. Okay, so one time I remember one time this woman comes up to me in a mall, and I hadn't seen this woman before. I don't even know who this lady is. I don't know. Whatever, it's not important. But, but I was at this mall. And she somehow picks me apart from across the mall. So she says, she comes up to me suddenly, and sputters, "Ah,、uh, hello, excuse me." Ah,、uh, yes, some human is trying to interact with me again. Yoo-hoo! It happens on occasion, but it's still sometimes kind of surprising when I have no advance warning. But you know, I I'm. Polite enough to respond and say, "Yeah." Well, I noticed you from across the mall, over there by the wall. Oh, okay. Now this is going to be either the start of an unrequited love story, or, or I am being scouted to become a model. Now I don't know why these two hypotheticals came into my mind at that point, but. If I'm being real, I think the latter is the most logical one, <laughs> and yeah. So I said, "Oh, it's me playing it cool." Well, I noticed your face. Oh, but of course. And I wanted to know: Is it just like that naturally, or are are you using any creams to help with your skin? Oh, but of course. Hmm. <laughs> My skin works fine. Yes, I mean, if there's something you'd like to do about it, I, I can help you. You know, I can I can give you something. You can book an appointment with me. Now, okay, this was already sounding suspicious, and I haven't heard of doctors trolling for our patients before. I think it should be the other way around. So I just asked, "Are you a doctor?" No, but I can help you. I am a beauty professional, and I can help. It's okay. I I've been to a doctor. Okay. To which I said thanks. Now that thing strained much energy from me. I had to strain so much not to start being overly curt with her and slip into a subtle, seething rage, which I sometimes do when people disturb me. Okay. Look, I get it. She might have thought. She was being helpful and genuine. I don't know, but it still is pretty tiresome when people regularly comment on your skin. And oh, by the way, if you couldn't tell through this inspired Picasso doodle, I apparently have a lot of acne and acne scarring. And I say apparently because I only look at myself in the dark slash low lighting, so I don't really know. And everyone seems to think they have the solution. Honestly, if if you had the solution. You would not be walking in the mall right now, trust. And it's not like I just do nothing, you know. I also wash my face. Oh, look, gasp. But I have to say, I am kind of impressed by how obvious my strange skin is, especially to this lady. She said she saw me from far away, and I can only assume this meant multiple meters away. And I'm thinking, wow, what is this resolution power she holds in her eyeballs? Or wow, how bad is my skin? Anyway. I also thought it was kind of funny. She said she had seen me earlier that day, and somehow saw me again later, and was compelled to complete a revolution to offer her magical salvation. But what am I gonna do? It's not like I'm gonna hide, right? <laughs> yeah, right. No, that doesn't work either. Yeah, this one time I was hiding behind a tree, but man, people will still see you and your acne even behind a tree. You think you can hide, but no one's playing just hide. They're playing hide and seek. So yeah, you you can't hide. Remember one time hiding behind a tree, and this this person comes up and says, "Yo, I have some drugs. Clear your face real good." Or, "Yo, put this gel. It'll help real good." Or, "Yo, I need to find another tree." <laughs> 